It was only a few weeks ago that we reviewed the On Cloud Boom running shoe from On, but now they're back with a new shoe and we've been testing it over the past few weeks. Let's take a look at the On Cloud Flyer. third iteration of On's Cloud Flyer shoe and it's only got a few changes uh, in the most recent version but first let's take a look at the stats. It comes in at £140 or around $160, it's 280 grams or 10.2 ounces, it's designed for road and stability running and there's a 7mm drop. So I put in easily 100 miles in the new on cloud flyer and when it came to fit I ran in an eight and a half that's my size and that came up perfect for me that means sort of true to size is good to go here with this shoe. Overall I think the ride was super comfortable when you first step into the on cloud flyer it is like kind of sinking back into the plush seats of a really kind of expensive saloon car if you've ever done that that's you know nice comfort luxury it sort of hugs the foot and this, there's lots and lots of sort of soft padding on the inside that kind of envelops the foot and it just feels like you're getting a nice warm hug or you're slipping on like a nice sort of fluffy winter jacket. The fit for me has been absolutely perfect from day one. Um, I've really enjoyed kind of wearing these shoes. The, the whole design of this shoe is, is kind of about comfort and, and, and padding. And there is quite a lot of padding in it, um, but it doesn't detract from the shoe. It just, you fit, your foot fits quite nicely into it. There's even kind of a connection between the tongue and the, the, the midfoot here, which just works really nicely. And they have this kind of nice sock-like feel. Um, so yeah, the fit for me is absolutely perfect. And they're true to size. I'm an eight. These fit brilliantly for my feet. The only issue I found was um, this midfoot section here and these laces. On how have these quite thin laces and a, a lot of people do comment on on them being a bit tricky to to tie down nicely um with this shoe there, there is a lot of padding around this top section so when you're trying to tie the laces and, and pull them in it feels like it's it's fully tightened but then you kind of step into them or you step step on the ground and you realize there's actually a little bit more can, that can go with it so i ended up kind of Retying them a few times um, just to make sure that they were stable. Um, it's not a problem once you get used to it, but first few tries, it's, it takes a while to kind of get that that fit right, just over the top midfoot. There is no doubt to me that this is again. There's quite a lot of shoe here. It is a bigger shoe overall than sort of some sort of paired back minimal shoes. Um, that said, I really enjoyed running in it. I found it really good to run. Um, I was quite surprised actually when I first stepped on, I thought it was going to be a bit more shoe than I would normally like. But actually over the miles, I've come to really enjoy slipping on this shoe, particularly when I'm running the easy miles. That for me is kind of, I'm just going out and I want to explore. I don't know how far I'm going to run, but I'm sort of going at my, at my everyday kind of um, go long pace. So not pushing it too fast just sort of out there to see if I can keep going for as long as possible. And these really fit nicely into that. You put them on, they feel comfortable on the foot. There are no pinch points and they hold the foot nicely in place. They offer a little bit of extra support. Um, they cradle the heel really well. And then you can run for miles in them. I, I found them really easy to go long. And yeah, I was really, really impressed. So pretty much everything about these shoes kind of screams comfort. There's padding almost everywhere. The tongue is padded. The heel collar is quite thickly padded. There's padding on the inside of the shoes. This sort of top, uh, it's a mesh upper. For a, they call it like a one-piece mesh upper that's got some kind of support overlays. And it's quite thick, actually. It's, it's, it's not the kind of mesh upper that you, can, that you can see through. It's more, again, even under the sort of top of the foot, wrapping the toes, is padded. Everything here is there to make you kind of sink back and feel comfortable, hugged, 
and actually you know make it easy to to go long that's exactly what this shoe has been built for for people to try and go long on will say that that covers fast and slow mileage i don't think personally that i would be looking to this shoe to run fast miles i think it's definitely a kind of steady sort of slow easy happy kind of mileage you know the kind where you you could talk for ages and you feel like you could go for days that kind of pace rather than sort of lung busting pb chasing kind of marathon all out pace i, I would say this sort of fits into this kind of shoe that i want to go out and run in when i know i'm just going to go for the sheer enjoyment and for logging some miles without the pressure and um, that's where this fits like kieran i've really enjoyed running in these from the get-go uh, i've done over 100 miles in them so far and they've just become my kind of go-to running shoe for when I'm I'm going out for a run I don't really have a plan for that run I'm not trying to do it fast I'm not trying to do a certain mileage I just go in for a run um, and they just work brilliantly for that I I found that every run I go on wearing them I never really think about them which is a big compliment for a shoe like this that you're going to do a lot of miles in and you're going to be running in every day. You want a shoe that you don't think about. You don't. You're not worried about it becoming uncomfortable at any point. You just want to know that it's there. It's reliable. And I've just found myself, even when I'm not looking at it to review, just wearing them day in day out because they're just such a comfortable daily shoe. The most important update that On has made to this version of the Cloud Flyer is the addition of Helion Super Foam in the midsole, um, and that's that foam has been spread across all of its ranges over the past couple of years um, and it has always made the shoes better in terms of the the impact for um, every every step when you're running in them and just overall cushioning that you get from the shoe. In some of the lighter shoes it has made a nice difference but this it's it seems significantly more noticeable in this shoe because there is a lot more cushioning in it. Previously, the material that was in the Cloud Flyers um, was quite hard. There was there's quite a hard rubber feel, and it just didn't feel nice if you're doing longer mileage. You kind of you got a lot of um, there wasn't a lot of impact resistance as you're running. The addition of helium super foam in these makes a massive difference, and um, it's. I've used the previous Cloud Flyers. I enjoyed them, but nowhere near as much as I have this. There's one thing I'm gonna moan about. I always moan about this with on shoes. Everybody does. It's the clouds. Take a look at that. In there, you can see I've gathered some acorns from my front driveway. Um, and that's replaced that with stones. It doesn't take very long at all for you to start picking up stones in the middle ridge there. Even though these are actually among the widest clouds that you'll find on a pair of on shoes, that ridge is still really prominent and you pick out stones, it's annoying. I don't want to touch dirty, filthy stones, picking them out of the bottom of my shoes. When you're running, tap, 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 it's too annoying, you have to. It's a fault with the way that ONS are designed, but, you know, it's annoying. The most interesting thing about the Cloud Flyer for me is that it's a support stability shoe. And when I first started running in them, I didn't realize that. I, I didn't read any material on them, and I just started running in them. And it wasn't only uh, it wasn't until I started looking at um, the details of the shoe for the review that I realised it was a sports stability shoe, which is quite interesting because I just didn't realise it was. For me, it feels a lot more like a more general wear cushion shoe as opposed to anything that offers some stability in it. Now, that's not a bad thing because I don't actually normally wear stability shoes. I don't, I don't need them. But I really do like running in this, and I think it's a very subtle level of stability or support in here. When you kind of move it around, it doesn't feel rigid in any way. It feels quite soft and, and, and flexible. Um, but there's definitely some support and stability in there, a very subtle amount, which does make a difference when you're running those longer mi longer, longer miles. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it, it's interesting that I wouldn't put it in as a stability shoe, but there's definitely a little bit in there. So not all on shoes are known for their durability. There have been some question marks over that, but these feel really well put together. The uppers don't feel like they're going anywhere. They're you know, nicely fused to the, to the outsole. And actually after 100 miles, there isn't too much wear on, these, on the cloud tech on the outside either. That can be something that happens with on shoes. So I think actually these will be a nice durable shoe. I'm with Kieran on the use case for this shoe. Um, it's not a fast shoe uh, and even though on kind of talk about it being used for 
interval training and stuff like that, it's it, it's, it does make it quite confusing for somebody who's looking at buying the shoe because for me, I think this is just an excellent shoe for daily wear and, 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 and longer mileage and to throw in stuff like interval training. It's really not designed for that. Um, it It's not slow. It's not sluggish. It's not going to, you know, deaden the impact of every a foot strike you do but it's not a race shoe and it's not a speed training shoe um so for me it's it delivered very well when i was going out to do general mileage and i didn't know the distance and i, I didn't really want to wear a shoe specifically for for that run so another thing i wanted to touch on just briefly was weight so again on says that this is a very lightweight shoe and actually if you think about it for a stability shoe it's it is pretty light it comes in a little bit heavier at 280 grams than the Nike React Infinity Run, which is just short of that, I think 270 something. But that's a, you know, that both of those come in a chunk lighter than something like the Asics Gel Kayano, which is over 300 grams. So it's lighter, it's, I wouldn't call it a lightweight shoe though, that is sort of, so many shoes go further the other end of the market. Um, but it does, you know, it runs fairly comfortable and, and that, I think the he you know the weight of it is actually here for this particular shoe and what it does isn't really relevant anyway. I don't see this as a shoe that you're going to be looking to sort of save weight and and run fast and all of that kind of thing. It's a shoe for me that you put on without thought when you're going to run long and slow or short and slow or just slow. So my verdict on the On Cloud Flyer is this is a shoe that I actually have really enjoyed running in. I didn't expect to. I thought it was going to be too much shoe for me. I normally run in something that is a little bit more minimal. But actually, when you slip it on, it's super comfortable from the first kind of time your feet sink into all of that, you know, sort of fluffy padding. And then when you actually get going on your slower runs, it's actually a really, really delightful shoe to run in. I've enjoyed it so much that it's almost become one of those shoes that I can put on when I don't really have to think about what I want to do on that running session. If I'm just going to go and meet a mate and do some easy miles, or you know, I just want to get out and clear the head and I'm not going to be running on the watch to a pace, I'll slip this on and it copes brilliantly well. Similarly, if I feel like I want to go out and do a long run where I'm not sure whether I'm going to go for two hours or three hours, this is a great shoe I found to put on and do just that. You don't feel it over those long distances. It's perfectly good at keeping you ticking over nicely, comfortably with enough cushioning underfoot, with that kind of nice sort of wrap feel um, for long distances and long time in the, in, the, in the run. So another thing, here's who On says these, these shoes are actually aimed at. They say they're for people wanting to run intervals, tempo runs, recovery runs, short runs to marathons heavier runners and runners that prefer a wider fit now that's a big that's a big <laughs> wide selection of people right there and uses it sounds like they want them to be for everyone i i take kind of um i take issue with that i think actually these shoes aren't really good for intervals or tempo runs for most people if you really want to go if you're looking for something to go fast i think you're going to be looking for a different shoe to these i think that's something that honor starting to have a little bit of an issue with sort of claiming their shoes are for things that they're actually not um, I do agree, though, with the fact that they're good for wide fit. I've got big wide feet, and I found these to be really nice. There's, you know, there's, they, they hug, but there's plenty of room here across this point, which, which often can be a problem with, with narrow shoes that I find, and my big fat feet don't, don't fit so nicely into. So one way I guess I'll sort of judge a shoe is if it kind of naturally creeps its way into my shoe rotation after I've been testing it. And that's exactly what the On Cloud Flyer has done. It's become a shoe that I sort of regularly pick up or my instinctively, I feel like actually I want to pick that up and put it on. And that is always a really good sign. So overall, I think the On Cloud Flyer could really be a winner for a lot of runners. It's a very, very good shoe for those steady, easy, slow miles. My verdict, I really like the Cloud Flyers to the point where I'd probably say that they're my favorite on shoe that's ever been released. They're the first on shoe that, that's come out that I've really liked from day one and I've not really had found any issues with at all. Um, so yeah, it's, the, the improvements that have been made to this have, have, have had a big impact on how it feels and yeah, it's for me, it's a great shoe. As Kieran mentioned, the fact that this shoe claimed by on has so many use cases is actually just just confuses the shoe really and it doesn't do justice to the shoe itself because if you're looking for a great daily trainer you want comfort you want you want that balance between a little bit of stability um nice bit of cushioning it just does all of those things and 
if you are a general runner who just wants a great shoe for going out training in, it is brilliant. So claiming that it does kind of interval training and stuff like that really just confuses what this shoe is about. Having said that, when we're talking about running fast in shoes, we're specifically talking about us running fast in shoes. And when we do races, um, I'm looking for kind of like a lightweight shoe because I'm when I do a race, I'm trying to hit a PB every time. But that's not necessarily the case with everyone. And it, it might be a really nice shoe if, when you're going out to, to take part in a race, whether that's a 5K or a marathon, if your focus is to just get that mileage done and you really want to get hit that 10K mark or you want to hit that marathon mark in comfort, this is probably going to be a really nice shoe for those those kind of uses as well. Um, I definitely think if I was going to do a marathon and, and I, I just wanted to do the distance, this would be a nice shoe to do it in. Um, I don't think I'd get PB, but I think it would be comfortable and I think I'd enjoy running in it. Although it's classed as a support and stability shoe, I wouldn't actually put it into that bracket. Um, and if I was looking at alternatives to this shoe, I'd probably say something like the Brooks Glycerin 18, um, the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 V10, or maybe Hocker Clifton 7, something like that. So yeah, overall, really like this shoe. If you're looking for a great daily trainer that just does a bit of everything, it's a great balance for comfort and it's not too heavy um, and it just feels great. It's a really good option and Honor done a great job in developing this shoe um, in its third iteration. So that's it from us. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget that we've got videos on everything, not just shoes. We cover all types of tech, including the latest watches out there and headphones for running. So take a look at the channel and see what's on there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the little bell icon and we'll see you next time. Catch you later.